Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Yusahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to set up our to-do screen. So let's open our previous project. So this is our previous project and right now, we need to create a new file. Right click on screen directories and we create that file and we name it as to do screen and inside our to do screen we create stateful widget and we name it as to do screen and we see warning and like the before we need to import material all right and inside our class we need to return scaffold widget and inside our scaffold widget we need to provide a bar and inside these properties we give a bar and we give title and like the before we call text widget and we name it as to do screen or create to do's all right after that we need to call body and inside our body we want to show column and inside this column we can give parameter which is children when we provide column widget, it means that we want to provide some widget inside that. And we want to provide some widgets vertically from top to the bottom. If we want to provide some widget from left to the right or horizontally, we can provide row widget. Alright, and inside these children, firstly, we need to provide text field. And we give comma right here. Alright, and inside our text field, we can see many properties when we press control plus space and in this section we want to provide at least just two properties the first one is controller and the second one is decoration and for the decoration we call input decoration and inside this input decoration we can provide some properties the first one is label text and the second one is hint text and let's call hint text and for the label let's say title and for the for the hint text let's say write to do title all right and for the controller let's say to do title controller and we see warning and we can press this and create field to do title controller and for our controller we need to assign with text editing controller all right and again we need to copy our text field let's say two times and for the second text field we call it as description and for our hint text let's say to do description and for the controller let's say to do description and for the third let's say to do that all right and we see warning again and like the before create fill and again for our to do that controller and we assign with text editing controller and for the last we don't see anything okay and we can create it manually and we assign with text editing controller all right and for our to do that controller we can provide another properties let's say prefix icon and for our prefix icon we can provide ink well and inside this ink well we can provide the first properties is on tap and the second one is child and for the child we can provide icon and we can call icons let's say that or calendar let's send this one all right and let's try to run our app all right but we don't see anything because we haven't yet called this to the screen so i think we need to create floating action button inside our home screen so we go to our home screen and inside our scaffold 
we say floating action button and we call floating action button and for the on press and then the second parameter or the second properties we can call child and we provide icon and we call icon dot add and just hot reload and we see floating action button all right and for the on press we can call navigator and then the this and then push material page road and we see a uh, context and we can call our to do screen we see error right here so i think so let's see on drawer navigation so i think we should call builder inside our inside our material page road and we move this and let's see all right i think copy this and paste inside this all right all right look like this so we can call navigator and then push material page road we give builder context and we call our to do screen and let's hot reload again and when you press this it will navigate to create to do all right we see title and description and this is dead so we can back to to do screen and we go to our to do that controller and for the hint text let's say that and let's say pick a date look like this and hot reload again and we see that pick a date all right so after that below our text field here we can call drop down button form field and inside that we say value and the second is item and then hint and the last is on change and we call value and we say set state inside that and for the hint let's say and for the value let's say selected value and we need to create new field and for the item we need to say categories and create field and for the set state let's say we call selected state equal with value and we see i think we need to provide text widget and let's say uh, category and hot reload and we see category so after that below drop down we say sysbox and we want to give like a margin and for the height we set it to 20 and hot reload we don't see anything so below that we add rise button and for the on press we make it a uh, blank and the next is we need to provide let's say color and for the color let's say colors dot blue and for the child we need to provide text widget and we say save and hot reload and now we see save button and i think we want to change text color to be white so inside our text widget we can say text textile and color colors dot white so hot reload again and we see now our rise button to be white and to make our form 
or our input to be more beautiful, we can wrap our column with padding. And for the padding, let's say 16, hot reload, and we see it's more beautiful. Alright, so we see title, description, date, category, and much more. So restart our app, and when we press this icon or this floating action button, it will navigate to our to-do screen. Alright, so that's enough our video today. See you on the next video.